Welcome to the series of How To. Hello guys, I am going to teach you about how we can make uh, this cartoon character using uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, I am just going to use uh, the basic shapes. Uh, which is actually given uh, by PowerPoint and uh, out of this I am going to arrive at this particular uh, uh, cartoon character. So let's see how uh, we can do that. So this is uh, the cartoon character which I had uh, drawn some times back and I am going to have this as reference. So if you look at uh, this entire picture i just made this uh, simple character using a lot of uh, shapes so which you can see uh, let's see step by step so first i'm going to pick uh, the following shape so the end result what i am going to arrive at is not going to be the same it might be slightly different but uh, still uh, we can bring something uh, similar to this uh, uh, character what you see in the left side and uh, I am going to use this trapezium shape I will just turn it around just bring it here so just bring it here I'll just copy the same thing. I'll paste it again. And I have to rotate, flip horizontal. So it's the same thing, right? So I'll just place it here, right on uh, the left side and the right side. I'll pick the next shape. So I'll pick this shape and uh, I have to deform it a bit to make make it almost similar to what you see in the left side and I will copy it again and paste it again the same thing for the right side but it has to be slightly smaller okay so let's give the colors for now I'm going to pick uh, the following color and uh, the shape should be no outline I will also slightly rotate the edges and uh, for this four components I will pick a slightly darker color and again no outline if you see there is a curve here but you have this sharp edge here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a circle and I'm just going to make it as a oval okay So if you are not too certain about like which color I have to pick, I'll just click the other color. I'll choose this format painter. Just make it. So this is ready now. So the next thing I might want to do is to bring up this nose. So I am going to choose this drop shape, teardrop shape. I'll just click it here I'll just rotate it for this point to face north and I will deform it a bit to make it smaller So you can also use shift and arrow up or down to make it big and make it small. 
and uh, so this part is done I'm going to bring this trapezium part so I'm going to pick this trapezium I'll just make this edge match with this edge I'll make it bit smaller okay so now if I pick this color and uh, no outline then this becomes transparent because this gets embedded with this color so I'm going to pick a after uh, after selecting this color I'm going to pick a darker shade so I'll click fill more colors I'll just make it slightly dark click OK now it looks like distinct from the background skin color so I'll click this as well and I'll make it with this color and uh, shape outline so the nose is ready now we need to bring this eyes so I'm going to choose the circle I'll click this circle and you can make it of this kind of eyes or like even this kind of eyes or I would prefer uh, to have a circular eyes or slightly oval eyes just keep it here and uh, copy paste I'll keep the other one on the other side of the nose and I'll choose both of them and I'll choose this darker color and of course I don't want any outline okay so I think this eyes are a bit large I'll just make it slightly small now I need to bring this smile so I'm just going to click this curve uh, so from the basic shapes I'll just click this arc I'll click it here and I'll rotate it so that it looks like a smile but of course this is thick enough so I'll click the shape outline go to weights I'll pick three point thickness so now it's like a proper smile and this is of blue color I'm going to pick a darker shade I think I clicked the wrong icon so I'll pick the darker shade so this person is smiling let's bring this ears so I'm going to choose the same oval shape here I'll make it slightly oval and I'll just place it right here so this is where it should be copy paste I'll keep the other ear on the other side choose this one and this one using shift key send it back so let's give this ears also the same color no outline so this ear looks kind of similar so maybe we can just push these ears bit inwards to look to make it look more realistic so let's bring the neck part so if you look at this the neck part is actually made out of a solid rectangle so I'm going to choose a rectangle I'll just have it here center align it and send it to back now I will give the same color which I picked no outline okay and the next thing we might want to do is bring this uh, person's uh, shoulders okay so I will choose this shape okay I will draw to this width and slightly make it curved maybe I think we can make this guy a bit more broader and yeah I'll just place it right here 
and slightly pull it up and send him back so this guy is wearing an yellow shirt maybe I can make this guy wear a green shirt I like this green and of course I am removing the outline and uh, we need to bring the inner shirt and then the tie so what I am going to do is let me pick this arrow this one okay so I'll just click here turn it to 90 degrees I'll just place this guy here drag him to left and drag him down and make this by dragging this yellow icon okay so maybe I can pull this person a bit further and uh, for this arrow I am going to give the white color and of course the shape is going to be this but this seems to be open a lot so how am I going to close this so I am going to pick this right angle triangle I just draw it from his shoulders till this edge okay so I am not going to have it here I am going to drag it so I am going to drag it slightly to the left because uh, you see this point is a bit above it is not uh, pointing here so you will understand when I do this so I am just going to pull it here and copy paste it again so I will go to format rotate flip horizontal I will place the second one here okay now I will give the same color water was given for this background slightly move it to the left and the same thing here so this is ready now the last and final thing we have to do is with this tie so I am going to pick a hexagon I think it's a pentagon okay so I will click with the default pentagon I will just make it slightly small and I will place it right here and so the remaining part of the tie I will pick a trapezium and place it right here and the color I'm going to pick here is going to be um, maybe yellow and the shape outline will be empty it's the same thing for this slightly move it to the top bring the shirt in front and bring this shirt in front so the person is ready maybe you can slightly make his face a bit more curved so thanks for watching the video subscribe the channel if you are interested and you need more similar videos thank you